In today's world, torn by wars filled with selfishness, social injustices and stark class divide, it is refreshing to think that the poor, the homeless and the needy are not forgotten. The teaching of charity by St. Francis of Assisi is still inspiring some saintly people. It is the case of Brother Kevin Crowley in Dublin. It is a strange coincidence that this street in the oldest part of Dublin features two diametrically opposite and contrasting houses. One is the famous Jameson distillery which, in a way, represents an icon of opulent, internationally reputed commercial island, and a few yards away the Capucin day centre for the poor, a place where Almost daily, for a good number of years now, the poor and the homeless come to get a meal and a food bag. Here behind me stands the Capuchin Day Centre, founded by Brother Kevin Crowley, a friar who has devoted all his life to assist the poor and the needy, just on the footsteps of St. Francis of Assisi. Father Crowley, has accepted to be interviewed and he will show us the activity in the center. Brother Kevin, you have been heading this uh, wonderful project for many years now. In 1969 we started the center here for the purpose of helping people who left their hostels in the morning time. And when we started in 1969, we had about 50 people coming to the centre. And these were people who were homeless people. And I suppose we took uh, uh, sympathy for them because they were walking the streets during the daytime and we felt that we as Capuchins, it wasn't very appropriate that these people should be on the streets and nothing being done for them. So we formed the centre. And now today, in 2013, in the morning, we have over 200 people for breakfast. And in the afternoon, we have over 500 some days for dinner, between 450 and 500, and maybe 540 for dinner each day. And we give uh, food bags as well. Then on a Wednesday, which is happening now this morning, we give our food parcels. And up to about four years ago, we had about 400 people coming for food parcels. But now in 2013, we have up to about between 1500 and 1600, which is a huge increase. In numbers. And the, the, the purpose of the food parcels were for again for homeless people, but now we have a new poor, and that's why we have such big numbers. And I'm really concerned because uh, the people who are coming to us are really indeed are people who have lost their jobs, and they're people who uh, are also in the verge maybe losing their homes. So these are the people that are coming to us, and we as Followers of St. Francis, we don't ask any questions because we find it's difficult enough for people to come here without putting all sorts of questions to them. And really, our main concern is for the, the welfare and the good of the people to make sure that everybody is treated with dignity and respect. That's in the giving room and the world, yes. And tell me, uh, how is funded? I mean, uh, does the state help you? We get from the state 450,000 a year, but our running costs are over 2 million, and we depend entirely on the generosity of the people. The people are absolutely fantastic. And without the generosity of the people, under no circumstances, we would be able to keep our lifeline in operation for the, the homeless and the people in need. Apart from uh, giving food and breakfast and lunches and Food parcels. You you have also you provide some classes for the little people. Yes, the people that uh, have left school early and who wish to uh, come back again yes. for classes maybe in, uh, in bookkeeping and uh, maybe in, in computers. So if uh, the classes are available two nights a week for those yes. needs. And they are attended. They are yes. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much, brother, and I hope you will continue doing this for a long, long time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So don't be
This is the kitchen here. This is where all the work uh, begins and ends with the efficiency of our excellent chef. Yes, and you are the boss here. I guess. Yes, most certainly. I'm the one that takes responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thank you very much.